Hello everyone. So now we are going to use the time base ACL. In our previous class, we already learned how we can use the ACL and we allow some server to access our internal server. Okay. So now what we are going to do, if you see, this is my internal PC. Uh, if you go here and type this one, we are able to access. So, okay. Let me show you. This one, this is the external server. Imagine some server available outside your organization, maybe any server, Facebook, YouTube or Google.com, any server which is present outside your organization and your guys can access. So if you want to block this one in particular range, we can block that one by using the time base ACL. Configuration is similar. What we do before ACL we are going to use, but we are going to create one time period and we are going to add that one in the ACL. Okay. So what we check here, this guy, this is our internal PC. He is able to access the external server. Okay. We check it is working perfectly. Now I will go to the ACL that is uh, ASA firewall. I will go in the global configuration mode. Now we need to configure the ACL time base ACL. So when we are doing the time base ACL, we will first create the time range. So I will give here time range and we can give any variable. I will give here office, whatever you want, you can give then here define the time. So I will say periodic periodic means it will occur daily. Okay. So I will say periodic weekday. So this uh, time range, we are going to use the periodic means daily in the weekdays from, I can say from the 8 AM to I can give 20 okay from 8 to 20 so this one I created the time range so whatever policy I'm going to apply and I'm going to call this time that will uh, that policy is going to apply from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. we can say from 8 to 20 that is this is a 24 hours watch okay we can say from 8 to 20 if you are confused what is 20 means you can uh, calculate AM to PM. Okay. So actually if you convert in the AM PM from 8 AM to 8 PM. Okay. But in the ASA, we will define this range, this type 24 hours watch we are going to use here. So I hope you, this is clear what we are saying here. Time range. We give the name as a office here. We are saying daily this occur activity time is 8 AM to 8 PM. Now we need to create the ACL and we need to apply. So I will write here access list and you can give the name anything. I will give ABC and then extended and we are saying deny. Okay. Deny which protocol TCP because TCP is working on the website. If you are accessing any website, TCP protocol is working. So I will say TCP deny any host and whatever the server IP, the server IP we are using here is 2.3. Okay. So if you see here, I am blocking this 2.3 server. No one can access in the working hour this server. So I'll put here 192.168.2.3. After that, you need to write equal and give the uh, www dot and you need to attach the time range. If you see, I attach time range I wrote here, but what is the time range name we give office. So we need to write this one office here. Okay. So this is one first ACL we configure. After that, we need to allow other guys that is uh, other server they can access. So we will write the access list ABC extended and we can say permit IP any any. So first they will block that one and they will permit other. And then we will write the access group and we are going to apply here. So you will write we are applying the ACL here access group, whatever the ACL name give the here. I use the ACL name is ABC. So I will give here ABC. Then we will say apply inbound and the interface traffic is going to come from inside. So this way we will apply. Now we are going to test. So let's go here. This is our internal PC before they are able to access. Now I will write here this IP and check it is not working. Okay. It is not working. This page cannot be displayed. Why it is like this? Because it's still our time is if you see till 8 PM we apply from morning 8 AM to 8 PM. No one can access our this server from our organization. That's why it is not working. But if you have any other server, you can access that one. So example, I think uh, we configure, I don't know, but anyhow, let's see. 
I think we configure this. So this one I did not remember we configure or not this server 2.5. Let me check. So this will work if we configure this one. Let me check here. Okay, this is power off. So let me power on and take the CLI of this one and let's see it is configured or not. I think I think we did not configure this one, but anyhow, let's see. Okay, I have only this PC. Yeah, here we need to configure. We did not configure. So what I can do, I can write here, show run. Uh, let me go here, enable, show run, and I can copy and paste from here the configuration. So first of all, let me check which one. This is the PC2 I am saying. So still it is loading. I can copy paste from here the server configuration, whatever I use. This one. Okay, let's go here. Okay, this is brand new actually. So here we need to do the setup from starting, from the basic. Why I am doing this one? Just to show you. Now this uh, all our PC is unable to access this server, but if we have any other server, we can access that one. I want to show you that one. That's why I'm doing this configuration. Okay, so what I will do here, I will paste this one and also I need to assign the IP. So I will write here E0 by 0 IP address. What is the IP address here? 2.5. So I will write here 192.168.2.5. 255.255.255.0 and I will write no shirt and I think now it should work let me save this one and I will go here yeah if you see 2.5 it is working so I will write admin and then admin so it will work what password we did not create the user that's why it is not allowing so we can create the user or I have already user here let me show you show run section user so this one I can copy and paste in this server so it will allow also that one also let me do now admin and admin so see it is working perfectly which one is working 2.5 is working perfectly but if you are going for 2.3 2.3 is not working see 2.3 is not working but 2.5 is working so what we told when we apply the ACL, we told that if anyone from our organization is trying to access this 192.168.2.3 from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., then block them. So it is blocked here. And for this one, we did not put any ACL, so it is working perfectly. Okay, if you change the time here, it will work. If you change time here, example, if you go inside the ACL, and if you change the time from here 8 a.m. to 9, 9 a.m. then it will start working. If you want let me show you how we can do. I will change here okay. Let me go here in this one. Then I will go I will paste this here. And then I will write here no. Now like this. And then I will say this one from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. only okay. So now it will work because from 8 to 9 a.m. only both are in a.m. So now it will work. So if you go here, this will start working now. See how it is working. I hope you understand, right? What I done here in the ACL, I am saying before I am saying this time from morning 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. No one can access. I remove that one. Now I change the time from morning 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. No one should access that one. So now time is different that is 5 p.m. so they can access now that's why it is working perfectly i hope this is clear for you this is a time based acl this is a time based acl i can say in this one first we create that time range and then we apply inside the acl that's all very simple if you have any confusion join our telegram channel and you can get the configuration there and the lab topology if you struck anywhere, write in the chat box or the comments. We are going to support you. Thank you. Bye.